hi there by the end of this video you'll know what props are inside of react so to think about it props are simply ways to provide input to components it's as simple as that so if we have a component such as person we can then use props to give that person a name age and location we don't then have to store this data inside of the component. This means we can have a dynamic component and we can pass this information in only when we have this information elsewhere. So this would mean if we had a particular name, age and location, we'd be able to display this with our person component by passing in the property. Now you can do it individually like this, or you can simply spread over all of the properties. Here's an example of how the person component may look. So as you can see, it does take in props and then it will display the name, age and location. And the way that it does that is by using props.name, props.age and of course, finally for the location. So here we can think of this as a functional component and this component is sort of a representation of its state and the state in this circumstance is of course the props. So it's a representation therefore of the properties that we pass into the component. It's now of course a demo time and we'll jump inside of the editor and have a look at this for ourselves. So here we have a brand new create react app application. Inside of source, let's make a new component. So that'll be a new file and we'll call this person.js. And we can do this a couple of ways. First off, we can make a constant called person that takes in some props and then of course displays some information on screen. So let's maybe put this in a div perhaps. And then we can have a h1 that has the props.name, comma, props.age, and that will be our h1. And finally a h2 that has a props.location. Now we'll have to go to the top and import react. And once we've imported React, we can export default person. That will just allow us to import it inside of app.js. So inside of app, we can import person from dot slash person. And we'll just remove everything inside of the app div for now. And we'll place in our person component. So all we see on screen at the moment is the comma. And that's because inside of the person.js file, we have a comma right here. Otherwise, this would simply be an empty component. And that's because we haven't passed any props to this component. If I change this inside of app.js to instead have a name of Paul Halliday, and we hit save, we can see that we instantly see that information on screen. So let's say that maybe we have some state and this has some people and that's an array. We can make a couple of objects, maybe the ID of one, the name of Paul, age of 18, location, England. And let's copy that a couple times. This one will be John and he'll be 22. He'll be from nowhere. And finally, ID of three. This will be Sarah, she'll be 23. And of course, from Denmark. So. We have this information now, we have some people, and we want to display that inside of this person component. Obviously we need to make a person component for each person. So let's take the state and we can destructure this a little bit. So we can say const people is equal to this dot state. And this will just pull out people from state. And we can say people dot map. This will give us an individual person in which we can then display that person component like so. We can put the name equal to the person.name, the age equal to the person.age, and finally the location equal to the person.location. We can also give this a key, and that will simply be the person.id, and that's simply whenever you're dealing with maps and multiple object iteration like this. So let's save the file, and hopefully we'll see all of our people on screen. So this is essentially one of the core components of component-driven development. And now what we have is this one component that we can map over and we can provide a unique information. 
the component doesn't have to know anything about the data structure inside of app. We could have one person, we could have 10 people, it doesn't matter. All it does is display information based off props. So that's essentially how we use props inside of React. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more React videos, let me know what you're having trouble understanding inside of the comments and I'll make a video on that. Thanks a lot.